Hey guys, thanks for choosing the DJI telemetry overlays. In this tutorial we're going to see how to extract the data, import it in After Effects and tweak the settings to create nice gauges. The first step will be making sure that your drone is recording the telemetry in the video caption format. You can do so from the camera settings. After the flight the SD card will contain two files instead of just one. The video plus the telemetry in the SRT format. For some drones, such as the Phantom 4 Pro, you might just get one video file. We will see how to extract the data later. From the app website, scroll down and select Convert SRT to After Effects. This will launch the SRT viewer. Once there, we can load our SRT file. We're now seeing the GPS path corresponding to our video, and some related metrics such as speed or camera settings. You can toggle a satellite background or a map background. As we said before, some drones produce a single video file with embedded telemetry. You can scroll down on the page and use a script that will help you extract the data into a separate file. Here's a slider for smoothing the path. This makes sense especially in the first version of Mavic, where data frequency and precision were not good enough. Tweak this until you get a meaningful result. For other DJI models, you can probably turn this off or set it at zero. The app allows us to export the data to multiple formats such as GPX or KML for GPS applications like Google Earth, or CSV for spreadsheet software like Excel. You can also download a video or a photo, but now we're interested in the After Effects format, MGJSON. This will download a new file. We can import both the video file and the MGJSON file into the After Effects template. Now the easiest way to proceed is to create a composition based on the video file. Then go to the gauges bin, select the one you want and drop it on top of the video, in this case the GPS path. Then open the GPS path composition and place the MGJSON file on it. Now if we open the effects controls, we can select our file as the MGJSON source. Then the path will automatically adapt to our data. We could leave it there, but let's tweak some things. We can change the path color to white and the position color to red. We could also tweak the path thickness, but I think 6 works fine. And if we go back to our main composition, we can reposition and rescale the gauge as much as we want. Just remember to enable collapse compositions if you're rescaling it up to preserve quality. If we wanted to show only a portion of the path, we can do so by trimming the source MGJSON layer. But I think the full path looks fine here. Let's visualize the speed of the flight too. We drop it on top of the video as before, and within it we drop the MGJSON file. Then select it as a source in the effects controls. And because this is Mavic 1 footage, we will apply additional smoothing to the signal to make it look good. Let's change the look of the gauge by making it go sideways, decreasing the number of ticks, making them thicker, bringing them closer to the center, and bringing the numbers out. We adjust the needle too, and this is just one of the many styles you could go for. We can now place the speedometer wherever we want to make it look good. And finally, let's add the heading gauge. As always, place it on top of the video, it will probably look better a bit smaller. Place the MGJSON file inside it and select it as a source. And in this case, we're going to play with the color to make all gauges look similar and the distance between the elements. You can find a full reference of what every control does in the PDF instructions. And after a render, this is what the video looks like. Renders might take a while on some machines, as the paths and data manipulation are quite complex in some cases. And as you can see here, there are some more gauges you can play with. And also please have a look at the GoPro templates, where there are even more data sources to choose from. I hope you make the most out of this. Please let me know if you've got any doubts or suggestions. I'm always around. Thank you.